Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for stopping in again today to check up on us. You're not going to believe it. We're in Nashville, Nashville, Tennessee, and we're actually in, in a studio with my new friend, Sam Cooper. So welcome to the show, Sam. I am honored to be on your show. Thank you. It's been such a pleasure really meeting you today, and we were lucky enough to hear you play some of your original songs during the interviews that we did today. And so I said to you, we air every day from the road just to fill everybody in about our journey, where we're at, who we're hanging out with, and what we're up to. And I, I just thought it would be awesome if you played one of your songs and um, shared with everybody kind of about the strength of being a musician down here in Nashville. And, you know, you're not a young dude. No, I know. <laughs> I'm <laughs> and, an old dude. And you're hanging in. I'm a sexagenarian. Sounds serious. Is there well, a prescription that's what you happens need? when you get to be 60. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that is serious. So I know that you have a song, and I'm going to put a disclaimer on this episode right now because um, I, as a writer, am not the limiting kind for art. And so Sam has an original song that means a lot to him that a lot of people enjoy hearing. It may have some content that some of you may enjoy and some of you may be offended by. So if you're sensitive, then I suggest you check in with us tomorrow for the hearty and for those people who really want to hear how this message of Sam's is motivational and inspirational. I think you should continue to listen on. Cool. All right. For glitter, but it's not all glamour. I pushed it to the limit and down came the hammer. Running with some bad boys, playing with some bad toys. Moved a little stash just to make a little cash. Did my thing, made my bling with the brothers in the white trash. Lessons to be learned. Yeah, Papa used to beat me up and Mama couldn't keep me home. I used to roam the streets like a flea-bitten dog. Had a girl on every corner who would fornicate, bring me all the money they could make and all the missy I could take. Ooh. I have moves, Sam. I have moves. Yeah, I pulled an all-nighter at the Golden Gopher. Strippers and Al Smith songs. I'm putting 20s in their thongs. Doing a little biz with Southside Slim when the door bust open and the heat burst in and a cop pointed at me yelling, that's him, handcuffs on, everything was getting jammed. It wasn't the first time the man wanted to put me in the slam. They trumped up a warrant, found a piece in a scale. Judge said, you're a threat, go to jail, no bail. I was I'm the orange man, see me struggling by the roadside, picking up the garbage, sweating in the summertime. Orange man, see you with the shotgun, yelling at me to shut up, making sure I don't run. Orange man, took a plea for two fights, consecutive with the three. Now it wasn't worth the crime. No, it wasn't. So don't try this at home. Yeah, two times a week for 45 minutes. My baby's mama stands in line to bring her for a visit. Shorty's looking good and the time goes fast. It gets hard, can't touch her through the bulletproof glass. No! It's difficult. It's brain sex or no sex. Ain't doing it with my bunkie. He's hardcore a long time. He used to be a junkie. In this cell, there's no mix. I ain't into a quick fix. I miss my TNA. Need some hay for my donkey. I'm the orange man. See me struggling by the roadside. Picking up the garbage. Sweating in the summertime. Orange man. See you with the shotgun. Yelling at me to shut up. Making sure I don't run. Orange man. Took a plea for two fights consecutive with a three step down doing hard time. Orange man, thought it was street smart, ripped out my mama's heart. Now it wasn't worth the crime. No, it wasn't. Now I know y'all are thinking, what happened next, Sam? If I hadn't caught the plea, I'd be doing eight and eight. Now they pulled me out of counting and they sent me to 
the state. Social worker said, kid, you better stay straight or the rest of your life is going to be pressing license plates. Yeah, it used to be the more I was pushed, I pushed back. In the old days, I was doing it. I'd lay you out flat. No room for excuses. My deuce was just a wild card looking over my shoulder in the exercise yard. But I got my GED and they taught me carpentry. I'll be out a week from Monday at a quarter to three. Staying clean, looking cool, best as I can. Cause orange ain't no color for a libertized man. Jazz fingers. I'm the orange man, see me struggling by the roadside, picking up the garbage, sweating in the summertime. Orange man, see you with the shotgun, yelling at me to shut up, making sure I don't run. Orange man, took a plea for two, fives consecutive with a three step, now I'm doing a hard time. Orange man, thought I was street smart, ripped out my mama's heart, now it wasn't worth the crime. The orange man, <laughs> dust on this highway's killing me. Orange man, oh, and I'm getting the shakes. I need a beer and a cigarette. Orange man, I learned my lesson. I swear I want to go home. Orange man, thought it was street smart, ripped out my mama's heart. Now it wasn't worth the crime. Sorry, mama. Just ripping and licking in Nashville. That's what we're doing. That was great. Okay, so here's the thing. You also have another song where you talked about the mountain and climbing. Why are you climbing the mountain? Uh -huh. Because it's there. I really loved your philosophy on that that you shared with everybody in the earlier interview. Could you share that in closing with us today? Well, the idea is really all of, all of us are meant to do something. And whether it's literally climbing a mountain or, uh, you know, I used to go storm chasing. I was really compelled to have to do that. Or whether it's songwriting or just dealing with numbers and being in science or, or doing uh, physical labor. Some of us are meant to do what, what we do and some of us are not doing what we're meant to do because we're, we don't think we can. And uh, there was a great quote, and I think it's attributed to Henry Ford. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, in either right. case, you're right. You're right. That is Henry Ford. Yeah. And I think that's a, that's a great quote. If everybody thought they could for whatever it is they wanted to do, you know, we wouldn't recognize the world. And that, that's the key to happiness, I think. If everybody woke up happy uh, every day and... and had a positive attitude, we wouldn't have pestilence or war or poverty or anything like that because we'd solve it all. We'd want everybody to be happy. And I think part of your joy and your passion for music is really being surrounded by so many people who are struggling with that same passion. And I right. know in this point in your life, you're, you're able to help people who want to record music and, and things like that. And you don't feel like you're in the struggle yourself anymore. But it's got to be the juxtaposition of those two things. It's a t it's a difficult thing, and not everybody has the luxury of, of being in a position like I feel I'm in now. And I've been I haven't been in this position my whole life. It's only the past two or three years that I actually realized where I've evolved into. But there's been a lot of mental anguish, a lot of struggles. There, there are a lot of songs I didn't write that I probably should have about things that went wrong. And even to this day, there are things that go wrong. The only difference is um, I've, I've kind of developed my own defense mechanisms to deal with them all. And they don't, they don't, it, it's like no sweat now. I don't really care. And the song that you just sang for us yes. was, was really based on some of that anguish that you've experienced in your life. To, yeah. It, we, I wasn't the one who went to to prison. You were not orange but, man, but, but, but it was someone somebody close very you. close to me. And it, it was just, uh, yeah, it was just another one of those things where lucky things for songwriters and for writers of any creative kind is when they're able to catch something out of the thin, thin blue air, you know, and, and, and just be able to recognize it as being worthy of writing about. That's all. We here in Nashville, 
people are always saying things and then going, oh man, that'd be a great line it's for right, yeah. that'd be, I, mm. As a writer, I, yeah. that's always the same experience. Yeah. So you actually run Sam's Jams on Wednesdays uh -huh. here in Nashville at, is it? Bobby's Idol Hour. Bobby's Idol Hour, which we may stop in. You never know tomorrow. That would be great. It is a Wednesday, so yeah. we could. It yeah. depends on, on, on what we're doing, but it'd be cool to see you oh, do what you do. You'll have a great time there. And it's not a place that is always packed or anything either. Um, it could be packed one minute and empty the next, you know, but it's okay because there's no pressure to go crazy in that but place. But people can come perform there and that's yes. what's awesome. Anybody yes. can come perform there. Yeah, there, I, I have, a, I have a, 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 an email address that I tell people if you want to book a time in advance, you got an eight hour window, email me by Tuesday for that Wednesday. Okay, what is that email address? It's Jericat, J-E-R-I-C-A-T, at yahoo.com. Okay, so people can do that. And where can they check out your music? Because I know you have a, over 100 songs, almost 150 on your website. Yeah, and, and there's plenty more where that came from, but I just, <laughs> those are the ones I posted. Um, that's at Jericat, again, Jericat.com, W-W-W-J-E-R-I-C-A-T.com. All right, Sam yeah. Cooper. You are so wonderful. You're a rock star. Thank you. You're great. <laughs> Thank you. This is a total pleasure. Total pleasure. That's it. Everybody get motivated. Turn up the tunes. Do some dancing because I think the girls and I are going to rock out just a little bit. Excellent. And I talk to you. 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 And we love. We love. And we hate. We hate. And we chat and run straight. We try to relate. This is my break room. Now this my breakthrough. Whoa. Oh man, this my breakthrough. Whoa.